Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you three things that I do to keep my shoes protected. Not necessarily in new, new condition, but a little few things that I do to keep them as pristine as I can while they are still fairly new. I don't have all my luxury shoes with me, but I do have my Hermes collection, as well as a pair of white Echo shoes, which I use very, very often. And they're not in the best shape, but I do try and keep them as white as I can. So my two pair of Orans are here, one in the gold and I've got one in the black. I also have a pair of white or really cream, yeah, they're all almost white, like creamy white sneakers, but the base uh, has a bit of a platform and they are sparkling white. Then my Echo shoes, they are older, you know, but obviously it might be on the camera, they won't look so old, but they're definitely more dull at the moment. I also have my Gucci Prince Town Mules. The first thing that I do now for all my luxury shoes is I get them resold. So let's talk about my Gucci shoes. This is my second pair of luxury shoes, very expensive ones, but I didn't know I should get them resold first. So the bottom of the shoe is absolutely destroyed. When you're in the store or you get them delivered to your home, your first pair of luxury shoes, when they're brand spanking new, the base is beautiful. It's like the clean part here. The whole base is super smooth and just pristine. But the first time you walk on them, they're gonna be destroyed. So the reason now that I do get my uh, the shoe resold is because when it's just plain, like brand new, it's actually really slippery. So I remember when I started to walk in these, I was slipping and sliding and it was quite uncomfortable. You know, at times I the shoes slip out of my feet or you know, I, I slip a little bit, it's quite dangerous. Then last year I bought my Oran sandals and again, it's a pair of leather shoes. And again, I didn't get them resold. I started to wear them immediately. And again, they are extremely slippery. And I've mentioned it several times. Because I was complaining about how slippery they are, one of you commented to tell me to get them resold with Vibram, which is exactly what I did. So if you can see, I have the top bit uh, placed with Vibram. It is an anti-slip sole. But I didn't do the bottom heel because I was already walking in them. And you can see the heel has tapered down because I am a heel walker. So the cobbler basically told me don't bother with the base, wait till it's absolutely destroyed before I redo the bottom, then it will make it worth it because these are not very cheap. I think a pair was like $50, $60 and that's only for the top bit, it haven't include the heel part. But anyway, I got them resold. So lesson learned, right? When I got my black pair of Orans, I did wear them until I got them resold with a black base. So if you're looking to get the Vibrams, ask for the black base for the black shoe and you can't actually see it. These are, I would say, life-saving because the Oran sandals or any leather shoes in general are very, very slippery the first few times. And honestly, after walking in them over and over again, you would think they get less slippery the less slipperiness is so minimal. In fact, it's still slippery. Like if you walk across any kind of water, you'll be slipping and sliding. So I would recommend that if you get any leather shoes, before you wear them, get them resold. They will protect your heel for longer and you, when they start to come out, like this one is coming out a little bit, you can just replace them. For your luxury leather sneakers, you can see mine are like super white. You can also use Vibram on the bottom of it and protect the shoe and make it anti-slip. However, I want to th thank Amy because she found a shop in Singapore that can do this sole. So I don't know if you can see it. My base is actually sold with a plastic covering. So this dirt is not on my white shoe. This dirt is actually on this plasticky thing that's glued on my shoe, but it can be peeled out, doesn't damage the shoe. My shoes will be absolutely clean at the base. I wouldn't recommend this plastic base on the leather shoes because they're not really anti-slip. If you're walking on normal cement surfaces, that's okay. But if you're walking on any kind of like tile surfaces that's maybe a little wet or oily, they are still quite slippery. But you know, this is more for protection and keeping the shoes, especially sport shoes, as white as possible. Next thing that I do for my leather shoes, especially if they're like these kind of leather shoes or even my sports leather shoes or even like any kind of like nylon leather, luxury leather shoes, is that when I come home, I do give them a wipe before I store them. So I'll just take a, 
clean tissue or maybe a baby wipe with no alcohol or no fragrance and I will just give it a wipe to remove any dust or dirt or you know any mud that maybe I've stepped on and that will help to protect the shoe from you know stains and also to protect the leather so I actually do wipe my shoes down when it's still fairly new but once I start to wear it very very often then I sort of slack a little bit but I do notice that because I do that regularly um, at the start, I do prolong the pristineness of the shoe for longer. So if you really want to protect your shoe for like long, 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 long time, then just keep doing it. Every time you come back from going out, just give your pair of shoes a wipe. Just take a tissue with a little bit of water and just quickly just give it a wipe and then air it. Don't put it in the box, air it, let it dry and then it'll be fine. The third thing that I do, and this is quite recent, and I thank this to Clara because she introduced me to this, Melamine Sponges. Now, this is a miracle sponge for your white shoes. When you have stains on white shoes, if you use a harsh chemical or soap or something to wipe it off, it will damage your shoes. So, you take one of these Melamine Sponges. You don't need like the expensive ones. I got this pack from Daiso. This will clean white surfaces, so let me just take it out. You can find them in grocery shops, and the ones in Daiso come either cut like a small 3x3x3 three by three by three cube, or a little bit longer, or even in a full piece, and you can just cut a little bit for how much you need. So firstly, it comes out like this pure white, kind of like spongy, but once you use them and you start scrubbing it, it sort of starts to break down because it is rubbing off the dirt. So what you do is you just take a sponge, the sponge, wet it or even for me sometimes i'm so lazy to wet it i'll just take it and i'll just rub on the shoe and i swear it gets rid of stains not tears but dark stains it will whiten your shoe like this it is incredible now i have this i just come home you know wipe away any kind of mud or sand or dirt off my shoe let it dry a little bit take this sponge and i just like you know inspect my shoe give it a bit of wipe, make it white. I can even do it on this rubber, uh, the base here, and it makes the shoe white. It's incredible, it gets rid of stains, and this will keep your shoes looking extremely pristine. I do it for my Hermes shoes, so that's why, even though I've gone out walking in them, you can see there is no dirt all around the shoe because I have been sitting down just, ooh, there's a little dirt. Wipe it off, wipe it off. And at the back of the heel, and this, this plastic here, anytime that it starts to break away or peel away, you can just get it rechanged. If you're in Singapore, I will leave the IG link to this person who is doing these shoes. He is, I think he's just one person and he has, when I went to his place, his whole house was just filled with shoes, all kinds, Louboutin, Hermes, everything, all kinds of luxury shoes and everybody was just getting their shoes done with him and his name is Tyler. So I'll leave the link and his IG to the, you know, in the description section down below. Sorry for those that are not in Singapore, but you know, if you can find something similar, go for it because they are really, really good for sport shoes and yeah, you, can, you can't see it. So those are the three things that I do to care for my shoes. Honestly, I don't do this all the time. I am doing it right now for my brand new shoes, like my Hermes brand new shoes, my Oran shoes. But once my shoes have been worn, like really, really worn and beyond, beyond saving, <laughs> then I don't actually do it anymore. I just wear the shoe until it's ready to be replaced. But as long as I can, especially like this is a new pair of shoes, I do care for it a little bit more and as much as I can, I want to keep it really, really clean. This is an amazing, super cheap investment. Baby wipes are a super cheap investment as well and I guess the most expensive thing to do is the resoling, but that is just worth doing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful and useful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, everybody please take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.